Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. What I read today was in 2 Kings 24, and it really spoke to me in regards to the state of America and what several Christians and churches have said in regards to the state of America. The verse I'm coming from is 2 Kings chapter 24. I'm going to start at verse 2. And the Lord sent against him, that is the king of Judah, raiding bands of Chaldeans, bands of Syrians, bands of Moabites, and bands of the people of Ammon. He sent them against Judah to destroy it, according to the word of the Lord, which he had spoken by his servants, the prophets. Surely at the commandment of the Lord this came upon Judah, to remove them from his sight because of the sins of Manasseh, according to all that he had done, and also because of the innocent blood that he had shed. For he had filled Jerusalem with innocent blood, which the Lord would not pardon. So, anyway, and that kind of is reminiscent of back when God spoke to Abraham and said, your children will be a bunch for 400 years for the sins of the land are not filled up yet. There does seem to be a definitive measure where it's like, okay, at this point, there is no more forgiveness. There is no second chance. You're doomed. That's it. The grace and the patience of the Lord have run out. And what I... What I want to say here today, on camera and in public for the record, I may turn this into a 30-minute sermon at some point just because I think there are probably some more details I could go into on the topic. We'll, we'll see where the Lord leads and what I feel like this Sunday. But I do not believe America has crossed that line yet. I do not. I know a lot of the church talks about how America is doomed, how judgment is nigh, and I simply do not believe that America has crossed that line yet, and I base that on what the Lord has spoken to me. Remember, I'm one of those crazy charismatics. I hear the voice of the Lord. I believe in speaking in tongues, miracles, healings, all that fun stuff. That's who I am as a Christian. And what the Lord has spoken to me personally, it's not too late for America. We can stand up. We can stand tall. We can make it. We can do it. We haven't crossed that threshold yet. Maybe after November the 8th, the word of the Lord will change. Uh, who knows? <laughs> but from what I've heard at the moment, America's not done for. There is still hope. We can still bounce back. We can still recover. All is not lost. And the Christian preachers who say that it's too late are wrong. Based on what I've heard from the Lord, I will call my brothers and sisters out, whoever said that this country is doomed, I completely disagree with you. That's not what the Lord told me. And to anyone who further says on top of that this nation is doomed, so oh well, there's nothing we can do, we're just going to sit back, throw up our hands, and wait for the rapture to take us all away, shame on you! The Lord's called us to be salt and light right now. We're not supposed to just sit on our duff and do nothing. You know, sit back and watch TV or play video games or huddle up in church, lock the doors and say, you know, we're going to escape the judgment. We're just going to wait for the Lord to come back and make everything right. No. We take action now. We stand up now. We do something now. I love this nation. I don't plan on giving it up without a good, hearty fight. It's one of the reasons I'm on YouTube. I do want to have fun here. I'd love to make it a career if possible, but if nothing else, I want to get the Word of God out, I want to preach the Gospel of Jesus Christ, and I'm not ready to give up, and I'm not really ready to back down or give in. Not at all. And, man, that gets me fired up. I feel like a lot more could be said on this subject. I'm not going to promise a 30-minute message on it, but, my gosh, I could definitely say more. But I think that was fairly to the point, so I will close this video for now. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. Don't give up, and God bless.